the Vans team must know that you're up in the booth because they're putting on a show. <laughs> and, you know, speaking of the, the big show here, Vans U.S. Open of Surfing always seems like the peak of Southern California summer. We got the Van Dorn Village, Vans Park Series, BMX event. I mean, the whole week has literally been just packed with fun every year to come down here and provide this entertainment and the vibe for everybody here on the beach. You know, Chris, you know, this is our backyard, right? So Vans was founded in, right up the street in Anaheim, California, back in 1966, our headquarters that we just moved into uh, less than two months ago is up in Costa Mesa, California. This is our backyard. So we, we want to put on a good show in our own backyard and continue to represent. Uh, we're a Southern California iconic brand, and we, so this is an important thing for us. Uh, it's a big enough platform we can bring our whole brand to life. So we have surfing, obviously, action sports, our cornerstone with the skate event, with the Vans Park Series as well. I is know. That, is that the real thing? Are they really <laughs> like that real. all the time? It is. It's genuine. And it's real. So their whole thing is about pushing positive vibrations everywhere, and they live it, and they share it. And when they get the little kids out in the water for the first time, they're pushing these kids into their first waves. You see that the kids then take that stoke with them wherever they go. And it's, I think it's a pretty amazing thing. Speaking of amazing things, yeah. Tomas. They, they must be up. sending some positive yeah. vibrations to their friend, Tomas Hermes, who just went ballistic. Series is one of the two paths to Olympics. So the level is rising. You can see how serious the guys are out there. It's, it's incredible to watch. Uh-oh, we just saw a nice little reverse here from Griffin Colapinto. He's going to be pushing Tomas here. Yeah, we bring up skateboarding and all of a sudden... Uh, he's Griffin doing skate starts. moves. 14-12 so here, Colapinto. He's only got a 3-6-7, so he's up against the ropes. And again, that's how this kid, who's a, such a clutch performer, he will never give you an inch. And that is going to be a massive score. Really does. With the ramps. Bode, like, yeah, it, it bodes well. Is uh, You see that types of move right there. Uh, you'd be able to see that just on the sands here uh, in the park series. So again, the great event to be able to just kind of see how they both influence each other. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The way we have some of the, the viewing set up is you turn one way and you're watching the guy skate. You turn the other way and you're watching the guy surf and you, you just walk, you're just turning around 360 degrees. So it's really nice to see that here. This was actually a wave during the break. Tomas cracking two nice turns in that midsection of the wave. Wow, and so this is uh, his second wave here, and this is going to be adding the pressure to Griffin. Griffin answered, though. You saw this was during the break. So uh, again, if he can complete this ride to the inside, this is going to be the second solid score. Ooh. And he does. Rush. A rough finish, but still a finish nonetheless. And, <laughs> right? Thanks, Pete. That's high praise for it's, us. Uh, it is, absolutely. Nine minutes to go. Tomas Hermes holding off Griffin Colapinto. One quick snap out the back. And that way of not panning out, what he did there was uh, play a little bit of a tactical game. There it is. And it's going to be Griffin going left. Cranks it off the bottom, straight up in the lip. Looking for more. Another big backside hook to the mid portion of this wave. Here's where things literally start to ramp up. Hunting, searching. Where's the section? Griffin to the inside. Big snap. Falls it up, another vertical turn, four big maneuvers for Griffin Colapinto. The yep. crowd going wild. Smart move too from Tomas to kind of take some attention away. He looked Tomas like he was on that again. wave. Yeah, this is right after that last wave. So starting with a backside whip, Tomas, he is wisely going to pull out of that wave, get himself back out in the pole position with priority. A lot of different people working together to make this event, so it's a good opportunity for me to say thank you to the hundreds and hundreds of people who make this possible. And that's the truth, hundreds, right? Yeah. From, from the WSL, from Vans, from the city of Huntington Beach, um, it, it's a great partnership that we have, and we're, we're just incredibly thankful to be a part of it. So Yeah, it's one thing to build a city right here on the sand, but in order for that city to run, and runs smoothly. It's been a, a great week thus far here in Huntington Beach. And as the time winds down here through Tomas Hermes now right in front of Griffin. Oh. Up and down. Now, if Griffin can do the best duck dive of his life, he could potentially pass up Tomas and beat him to the outside. Went a little conservative. Let's take a look at it. I mean, he did get the two-turn combo outside. Not super radical there, and then that was a nice turn, but again, probably didn't push real hard. But, uh, you know, again in here, fit two turns in, and it was close. I think what the judges wanted to see was 
maybe something bigger mm. on the inside. Tomas now holding off. Yeah, but how smart was him uh, he kicking gotta, out of that wave early then and jamming back exactly, to the outside right that's there. the subtleties of these heats that make for the win. There was also the opportunity where oh. he actually took the attention away slightly. Uh-oh, well, let's see what happens here. <laughs> I love how Tomas just was sitting there staring Griffin down. Okay, Griffin now, two setups on the outside. He's got to go big on the inside here, though. Oh, he's going to need something huge. He wants this wave, or he needs this wave to cooperate. Building speed. Time's up. What's Griffin got on the inside? Goes to the air. Oh, and oh. that was what he needed. Goes down. So Griffin Colapinto. He stomps that. He wins the heat. Thank for you, support, guys. For supporting this whole world that we live in. Keeping the dream alive for us. Wow, another epic heat in the books. Tomas Hermes rolls through. Griffin Colapinto, a solid result for this young surfer here at the QS 10,000 level. Thanks, Doug. Pete, another epic heat.